What am I supposed to be looking for? All I see is dirt. The first part, respecting nature, is understand it. The soil has stories to tell. It has lessons to teach. We become it. How do you know of this great grandfather? My father taught me the importance of the world around me. Now I'm teaching you. My father gave it to me. He said it was a barrier between good and evil. Does it do something? I saw it save my father's life. Remember, we're gonna keep it positive today, okay? Mm hmm. Okay, thank you, Rose. What have I told you? It isn't polite to stare, even if it is her father. I thought we agreed. No tolls at the table. No arc. I was fixing the mailbox. 
Right. Now, Grace. Would you like to lead us? Dear Lord, bless us in these gifts, for these I give, which you're about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Rose. I hope we all understand how important it was to thank our Lord. We've been given many obstacles, but each meal is a blessing. Each day is a blessing. Don't touch me. Let me bleed out. Let me bleed out. Let me bleed out. I said, let me bleed. What is wrong with him? Your father is sick. Did he hurt you? No, I'm not hurt. Just, um, just finish your dinner, okay? Finish your dinner. Lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord, my soul to keep.
can do it, Hank! I can set you free! Can't let you hurt anymore. Listen to me. No, don't go back there. They're only gonna hurt you. I can free you. Not Hank, Papa. I'm the pathway to God. Listen to me. I can set you free. You kill Hank! Looks like we figured out where those gunshots we heard came from. Yep. Looks like it. He used to have to drive him home drunk after the war. Said he used to see things. I always figured it was a whiskey. When I hear about him home a few times, too. William's wife see this? She's passed on, too. And the kids? Same. Oh my god. Except for his eldest. Where is she? I don't know, Sarge. Let's find her. Now. Now, now. Rose! 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 You don't have any other family, do you? Aunts, or uncles, grandparents, anything? No. You have nowhere to go? No. I'll find somewhere on my own. No. Not without family. Not with winter approaching. Look, there's a place I know of, a couple states away. I spent some time there as a child myself. If you don't have anyone to stay with, better than the state putting you in an orphanage. What is it? Well, it reminds me of a castle. Like in Europe? Yes, not like that. But with no wars? I can assure you there's no war there. Worse than this. No. If you go, you won't have to worry about anything like that. Okay? It's a good place. It's a good home. Henry, there's something I think you need to take a look at. What might that be? This morning, a girl was taken to St. John's. She lost her family. It's not unusual, not now. It's the circumstance. I think you need to take a look at this. I'll be in touch with the Reverend Mother. I know her well.
You must be Rose. I'm Reverend Mother Agnes. I'm told you're going to stay with us. Start at the beginning. You mean my childhood? Yes. I've been through this. You know my childhood. Your self-doubt stems from more than just your father. I don't like thinking of my father. But you do. Of course. Every day since I've been here. Surely there was more to your home life than your father's illness. Reverend Mother calls them dreams, not an illness. We agree on many things, but psychology is not one of them. The intricacies of the human mind are one field where I feel that not only are we still learning, but so is the Lord. The soul grows as it should. That's correct. Have you considered taking your final vows? Yes, of course. All the time. But you're not ready? I feel that I could do more. More for the church, more for the world. I hear about the worsening situation with Europe and in Germany and in Austria. I... Isn't there something the church can do? We pray for them. But first we must remember, all action begins with one person. Who? That person is you, Rose. Good afternoon, Sister Rose. Sister Ella. Oh. I believe the first frost has gotten to Jeremiah. I think it gets to most people more than they think. You know, he, he barely speaks to me. Ever since he arrived, he, he just stares. Maybe he thinks you're pretty. No. <laughs> He's confusing me with you. Besides which, you know that's inappropriate. I wouldn't give it much thought. I'm sure he's harmless. I mean, if he weren't, Father Theodore would never have invited him here. I suppose you're right. Yeah. You know, we missed you at prayer session today. I was busy. Busy? Well, after much contemplation, I believe I'm ready. I've decided to take my final vows. Already? It's been eight years, Rose. It's time. You're right. You know, it's been really cold lately. Nothing that a good hot cup of tea won't solve. Yes. My cup is frozen solid. Inner peace is the best fire. Come on. I saved you a seat. 
Thank you. Sisters, please settle in your seats. And fold your hands. Before we begin our dinner, Father Theodore would like to share a blessing with us. Thank you, Reverend Mother. Please bow your heads in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We have so much to be thankful for in the warm embrace of God. His gifts surround us. His wisdom surrounds us. It nurtures us each day. Even an old man like myself learns something new every day because of our Lord. Amen, Father. God wants to tell you what you want to hear. You just have to be willing to listen. Now, speaking of gifts, let us all enjoy this communal supper. This soup smells especially delicious. Excuse me. It's a perfect way to stay warm. That would be lovely, thank you. Can you pass the rolls, please? Is something troubling you? No. You seem preoccupied. It's cold. Feel. Okay. Do you feel it? It's freezing. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. But I am not freezing. Every day it gets worse. Have the nightmares returned?
I'm not my father. If that's what you're implying. Dreams, Rose. Just as with your father, they were only dreams. It's how we react to them that matters. When you first came here, we embraced you as one of our own. Yet there are certain things you still choose to face alone. Even in your room, you're never alone. The Lord God is all around us. You lost your family. God is your family. We are your family. Thank you. And the last piece of advice for you is get some rest. I'll do what I can. Good night, Rose. Good night, Reverend Mother. For 10 years now, the dream remains the same. The nightmares feel so real, as if I've awoken in another life. Each day I question my reality. Each day it grows harder. I worry one day I'll wake up unable to distinguish this life from the other. 
I only hope that in writing down my thoughts and drawing what I see, that I'll be able to save myself, should it come to that. How is it? What? The tea, how is it? Oh, well, it's, um, it's cold. You're a lot like Father Theodore. How do you mean? He's never good enough. Mm. Not like he has any basis for comparison. I don't think he's been more than five miles from here since he was 12 years old. We all have a story, though. Lily. She had a husband, and he lost all his money in the crash. He put a gun in his mouth. Sister Ella. She found Jesus in the bottom of a bottle. It never came up. Our mistakes all brought us to salvation. My father's mistake led me here, not my own. Are you at peace with your father's mistake? Am I speaking with you, Jeremiah? What was Jeremiah talking to you about? Um, traveling. Have you ever traveled? Before? Yes. <laughs> oh, no, just from my family's home to here. Where was that again? Western Pennsylvania. Hmm. You ever been there? No, I can't say that I have. Just South Carolina to here. Uh, well, you're not missing much, so... Hmm. How was South Carolina? Life wasn't very welcoming for me there. I saw some bad things. And I almost let them get the best of me until one morning I woke up. No home. No place to go. And I knew I needed to change. What did you see? I think that's a conversation best had at another time. This is a new life. We cannot allow ourselves to be judged by the misdeeds of our past. Mm. Sister Lily is right. It sounds to me like you're running from your past. No, absolutely not. Making peace with your past and running from your past are two different things. Maybe that's why you're not ready to take your final vows. You don't have to be condescending. I only want what's best for you, for everyone, for that matter. If you need my help moving on from the past, I can help you, but ultimately, It comes down to one thing. What thing? You. The sisters can only take you so far. But your willingness to surrender to God is a choice only you can make. I learned that being here. And that's how I intend to live my life. You're right. It's not about being right. It's about peace. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Since the frost came, I can't breathe. The air dries my throat. Every morning when I wake up, I feel like I can't speak. Dear Rose, it sounds more like you need a doctor than a confession booth. It's not that kind of dry. It's... I feel alone. I feel frozen. Tell me about your last night at home. All I remember is the pain in my father's eyes. Kill me. Kill me, he used to say. What else? There was a rhythm. Consistent. Like a clock. A clock? Not something you'd see on the wall. Something else. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. My world is falling apart, but my heart is steady. It was at ease. Is this a sin? Should I have been that calm? That calm is what saved your life. I have felt your regret since you arrived. But rather than it disappear over the years, it's grown. I'm sorry, Father. God meant for you to have these emotions. They're ultimately a test. Designed to strengthen your faith. I don't care. I'm so happy to be out of the cold. Oh, Sister Ella, Sister Lily. Sister Ella. Showing up late to take all the credit? What? <sighs> don't listen to her. I need to ask you guys something. Of course. Have you noticed anything strange around here? Oh, everything around here seems normal. Now, when I was at St. Christopher, that was strange. It's painfully normal. The cold is painful. I'm used to it. So, so now, are you okay? Uh, Rose, I'm not going to hurt you. I know, I'm sorry. Old habit. Well, you feel fine to me. Rose, when I was younger, I, I lived by a lake. And I watched my brother fall through the ice. We would cross the lake as a shortcut, and he'd always go ahead. I heard this dry crack. And he was gone. Swallowed. He died that night of hypothermia. That's when I knew. Hell was cold. If you're not feeling well, ask for the doctor. Don't just sit in your room and hide. Okay. Good. Let's go. I can't distinguish dreams from daylight, memories from nightmares. I'm seeing things that aren't there. I'm hearing things that don't exist. At the moment, Father, I feel it. You're the only one I could have confided in. I... Father. Father. <laughs> Sorry, Rose. Hi, Jim Ryan. I didn't mean to startle you. Uh, do you know where, where Father Theodore is? Uh, yeah, he's 
preparing a sermon for midnight mass. No, he was just here. I was speaking with him. No, I've been here for over an hour, and you were in the booth when I got here. You were alone. He's not here? No, he's not here. Are you listening to my confession? <sighs> Try to ignore it, but... I'm on floor duty this week, so... Which I promise I won't tell anyone. You can trust me. If you truly believe something strange is happening here, you have to determine if it's something with this comment or something centered around you. Let me pass, Jeremiah. I'll let you pass, but you have to answer the question. You can't ignore it. It's me. It's always been me. That's why you haven't taken your final vows. Yes. And you'll admit it to me, but you won't admit it to Father Theodore. You've seen more of the world than he has. Well, yeah, there's something here. It's not inside you. It's part of you. It's part of the flesh. It's my father. Maybe. It's shared. It's reborn in you. You go. Go. of your name will exalt in you.
demonic presence was drawn to my attention years ago. We're so close to casting it out. This is the blood of Christ. You've got precious blood. I don't know. I'm worried about her. Mother is looking for you. I'm sorry, Father. I'm, I'm not feeling well. You need to rest. You're clearly exhausted. You're right. I am. I just... Rose. I'm sorry, Father. Rose. Rose.
I never cared for your choices of tea. And that's two. Two? I told Rose that we only disagreed on human psychology. Apparently, I've inadvertently lied to her. We also disagree on tea. I'm sure you'll be forgiven. I would hope. What did you and Rose speak of? The details of confession are strictly confidential. I'm concerned for her well-being. I know what it's like to have a past that follows you. That's what it was. Her past. She carries it on her shoulders. Sometimes I can almost see it. You weren't much different. The bottle was my vice. Gambling was my vice. I never met my parents. I'd like to call on Father Henry to evaluate Rose. Henry doesn't specialize in troubled young women coming to terms with their past. He specializes in something that you and I don't see. I don't know if I'm right, but if I'm wrong, I'd rather treat her early. Childhood trauma isn't a reason to assume we need Henry. This isn't the 1600s. There's more to it. Come, Come and embrace, embrace me, Lord. Lord. Hold, Hold me secure. secure. Hold me strong. Hold me forever. In your everlasting arms. Amen. Nomine Patre, et Filii, et Spiritu Sancti. Dominus vobiscum. Amen. Peace be with you. And also with you. I would like to welcome everyone here for this celebration of the solemn profession of Sister Ella to the Holy Spirit. It is an important moment for our community. Sister Ella, and of course our church, because it is a moment of witness, a declaration of vows and faith, which represents a small inkling of hope the world sorely needs. Dear sister, are you now resolved to unite yourself more closely to God? I am. Are you resolved, with the help of God, to undertake that life of perfect chastity, obedience, and poverty chosen for themselves by Christ our Lord and his Virgin Mother, and so persevering it forever. I am. Are you now resolved to live alone for God in persevering prayer and willing penitence in humble work and holiness of life? I am.
my god, you are... Good morning, Father Henry. Where is Theodore? He's here in confessions. <laughs> we need help. We need someone with your expertise. Last time you called on me, we performed an exorcism on an altar boy, and his parents sent him to an asylum. He was a quiet boy, innocent. I found this in my room. There were more in the hallways and other rooms. Have you ever seen anything like this before? I've seen crosses fly off of walls. I've seen them turn upside down. I've never seen anything like this. This looks like someone tossed it under a combine. You have a source. It's Rose, Henry. like to meet with her as soon as possible. Of course. Father Theodore. Father Theodore, are you here? Yes, my child. Forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. I don't know how long it's been since my last confession because I've lost all sense of time. I don't know past from present. I don't know right from wrong. Go on, my child. Set your worries aside. No one can hurt you here. God will protect you. I haven't been entirely honest with you. I've been seeing things. I've been hearing things. I, I'm cold inside, but my skull is burning. I, I have visions of memories that aren't mine. Visions of mine inside of time. God has laid a special path for each of us. The test is physical but also mental. Focus on your breathing and listen to your heart. That is a special bond between you and God. 
It beats in rhythm, and he hears it. <laughs> the rhythm. Like a clock. Steady. <laughs> Steady. Out of this daughter of God. Out of this child of Christ. When you were younger, an altar boy named Christopher came to me with similar symptoms. By this blessed holy water. <laughs> Kill him! Kill him! He complained of fever. When he was cold, he claimed to hear voices, <laughs> see visions, but there was nothing there. <laughs> Soon he became destructive. We called in one of my colleagues with an aptitude for exorcism, Father Henry. <laughs> It was the worst pain I'd ever seen another human being in. No! They would write and twitch and scream profanities. No! The closest thing that I could compare it to would be from what I understand of childbirth. But given the situation, it was rebirth. Something's wrong. What is it? I don't know. But something's definitely wrong. Sister Rose, what is this? A prayer. Doesn't look like any prayer I know. Looks like a pagan ritual. Worship of the earth and witchcraft. It's not. Don't tell anyone that it is. I won't. Reverend Mother called in a specialist. He'd like to speak with you. What is it? I'm confused. You have to tell me what's going on. I don't know. I can't explain it. But it's Rose. Oh my god, you did most. 
do that? Oh, I hope not. No, no, thank you. You're freezing. At least hold it. God, I feel like I'm burning. Well, what do you think it is? I don't know. Whatever it is, it took my family, and now it wants me, so maybe I should just go see this specialist. Well, he's aware of you. He's known about you since your childhood, since you were brought here. Why? Precaution. Have you seen any of the signs? <laughs> Who was with him in here last? I think it was Rose. Where is she? She wasn't at the commissary. You don't think she did this, do you? Oh, I certainly hope not. Ella, Lily, leave this place at once. Go to St. Jude's, two towns over. Of course. Thank you, Reverend Mother. Quickly, please. What signs? Unseen voices, a slip from reality, hunger pains, Sensitivity light, but most importantly, your aversion to spirituality. Wait, aversion? You've been here since you were a child, and you've yet to take your final vows. Why? Father Theodore says it's because of regret. Regret? Yes. Regret is an emotion. It's not even real, it's not tangible. Why have you not taken your final vows? Look, I don't know what you want me to say. Whatever shares your body is restraining you. It's something else. Something living. You're frightening me. Stop it! You're frightening me! What I saw you doing isn't anything a child of God would do. Worshipping the earth? People were burned alive for less. I'm saving your soul, Rose. These walls are thin. You killed Father Theodore. There's evil within you. You're a freak. You're an abomination. No! Let us continue. Dear God, let her pray for your love and light to come into her. Oh, dear Father, may she be your child. Dear Jesus Christ, Redeemer and Savior, forgive Sister Rose of her sins, just as we forgave people of demands, as you forgave those who crucified you. Forgive her of her sins and her transgressions. We gather of her repentance and her tears and sorrow. The fight against the powers of darkness in this world. Help us against the rulers of hell in high places. Dear Lord, help us. The spirits of wickedness in high places. The rulers and principalities in power. And spirits of darkness, help, help us, Lord. The spirits in high places, help us to fight. <laughs> Maya. Where am I? Where you've always been. May the convent? This room. What? Where's Reverend Mother? You've been here all this time, many years. We've tried nearly everything. Where's Reverend Mother? She's dead! Oh, you lying to me! <laughs> Fight it, Rose, my spot. Fight it.
Please, I'm drawn. I, I don't see forests. I don't see happy little animals. Does this look peaceful to you? Look at it! No! 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 Look at no. it! No! 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 You've been here no. since your family was no. killed. No! 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 Against the spirits of wickedness in high places! this child of Christ. <laughs> by this blessed holy water and by the blood of Christ. Redeemer, Lord, save him. Remember not her sins as you saw the betrayal of Peter and those who crucified you. Sorry I wasn't there to watch you grow. I was in pain. And I let it defeat me. Don't let it defeat you. Don't let it defeat you, Rose. I love you. I told you about my father. 
I am not who you think I am. No! No, you're gonna burn with this! For ten years now, the dream remains the same. The nightmares feel so real. I only hope that in writing down my thoughts and drawing what I see, that I'll be able to save myself. Should it come to that? I pray the Lord my soul to keep. 